We're gonna film a very casual video today in which Hannah attempts to eat her peanut butter toast. Just kidding. I do really need to eat more today, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I am so ready to give birth, but also not at all ready because number one, my sister's not here and she's gonna be my doula and be my birth support. And if she's not here, I will be kind of upset about that, but it'll it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'm also not ready because like our house is a mess, I've shared with you guys um, all the construction that we're doing, it's all good things. I've just sort of resigned to the fact that our house is not going to look a certain way, things will still be cluttered, We'd still we're still gonna have boxes and blah 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 everywhere, and that's fine, I can deal with that because I meditate. But another big thing, I haven't been able to put away my baby things like at all because I don't have a place to put my dresser. So I went out and I got a little, a used thing I got from OfferUp um, because I don't really care what it looks like. I just need it to be functional. It's big enough, it's got big deep drawers, five of them. And so this might be the oddest nesting video you've ever seen because I'm not like making this cute little nursery and putting my diapers away because my diapers haven't arrived yet. We're going to nest in my garage because we're going to put things away in my dresser and then when the house is ready, <laughs> we'll put the dresser in the house. That is the plan. Speaking of diapers, by the way, I this is just a mess. I don't know why these diaper companies I'm using reusable diapers, cloth diapers. I don't know why they make it so difficult for me to give them my business. I don't understand. I'm using two brands. I'm using Bum Genius, which is a very popular one, and Grovia, another pretty popular one. The Bum Genius ones I ordered over a month ago, and it's like manufactured to order, so once you order them, then they start making them, so it takes literally 10 to 12 weeks, which is just nuts to me. I don't know why their business model is like that at all. And then the Grovia ones that I really wanted were sold out for months and months and months and finally I got an email today because I signed up for their email notification please tell me when this product is back in stock I got it this morning I saw the email 12 minutes after they had sent it I ran to my computer and ordered 15 Grovia Butterline diapers and then I was gonna order some for my friend because I knew that she wanted some and they were sold out so it's like getting Beyonce tickets it was like such a rush this morning it was terrifying but I'm really glad I got them and hopefully they'll come before baby comes I'm normally not this unorganized I'm normally a very prepared person. But with the way the house is going, this is how it is. And I think it is a way that the universe is teaching me to prepare for motherhood that you kind of have to roll with the punches also I'm really out of breath. Anyway, let's get to nesting. I'm gonna pull out all my stuff from my car. I was storing some stuff at my parents' house because I had nowhere to put it. And I'm gonna show you all the baby things. So <sighs> P.S. Last night I definitely thought labor was starting. I felt these feelings, I felt these sensations, these flutters, these new things I had not felt before. I'm glad it didn't happen yesterday. It's like, as you'll see, we're not ready. We're not ready. I am going to be snacking on my toast while we do this. So if I have stuff on my face, try to refrain from thinking like, oh, Hannah's such a slob and try to say things like, I'm so glad Hannah's eating. Good job, Hannah. The first thing we're going to do is clean out this dresser. I haven't cleaned it yet, so vacuum and wipe and fun times. Marvelous. Now, ugh, this feels very clean and ready in which to put things in. I used to speak English. Let's start with clothes, because it's definitely the most fun part. I registered for these little um, organic onesies because it's gonna be cold time when baby comes. And our house is very cold and we don't have air conditioning or heating yet, yet. They have little fold over, do you see that? Did you see that? What just came out of there? And actually, I kept my registry very, very minimal, especially compared to, I know what's pretty common with registries where you register for like all this equipment, all this stuff. And I think when you live in a smaller house, you sort of kind of have to be a little bit more minimalist. I don't think there is anything on my registry that I won't end up using. It was pretty sparse. I did get some secondhand things though because my friend Kesley has two boys and she is passing down some little items to me, which is so fun. I just love hand-me-downs, it's my favorite thing. I'm planning to do that for pretty much all the clothes for the child. First of all, let's just start with the Deathly Hollows symbol. Little hoodie, a flan flan, vintage jacket. Oh, I can't really bend over. A little sweater. It's a very important piece of clothing. This will help bring Liverpool to the championship once again. 
it is a Liverpool jersey. A little hat. And then Ellen got me some hand-me-downs as well. My sister. Bloomer shorts. Some really sweet newborn pants are so small from the simple folk. It's so small. Oh my gosh. And it's actually kind of perfect because Ellen and I did not think that we were going to have kids so close in age. And it, that's just kind of how it happened. So she had Kofax back, back in May. So Kofax and this little guy will be about six months apart, which is just so special and perfect for me. So I will get all of his hand-me-downs. <laughs> all right, so let's fold up the clothes and put them in the drawers. I did see some system where you have like bins. I'm not really a bin girl, but I might need to become one. They're just so small. They're just so small. I'm totally happy to hear any tips. I feel like someone's in the comments is gonna be like, roll those, roll those onesies. So I'm gonna do. My back has been killing me. This is sort of a new thing. A new fun addition to the life of Hannah is upper back pain. I have been doing the whole piriformis pain, the sciatica nerve, like, ah, what is that in my buttock? But now I am experiencing upper back pain, but it's, it's okay, like we're just so close. And last night when we had that moment, we were like, is it happening? Are we, d is this happening tonight? It just gave me like a boost of energy. Like, oh, I can get through this. <laughs> like, even if he doesn't come for another three weeks, which is totally possible, I can totally do this. You guys know my pregnancy has not been sunshine and rainbows. It's just taken a lot of um, strength, the mental strength, a lot of meditation, a lot of recentering, a lot of pep talks. I feel like I've been mentally preparing myself for birth like hardcore, and I really wanna talk about that in another video, but I did not mentally prepare for pregnancy. I just had no expectations for it. Wow, the stress is so big. I'm just a big believer in keeping your belongings to a small amount. I am not, I don't call myself a minimalist or anything. Do I roll? Do I fold a t-shirt? Do I roll or fold a baby t-shirt? I'm gonna fold it. My dad's here. Bend down. <laughs> it's my pops. Hi everybody. He just had a birthday, he's 68 years old. Ah. So old, you're almost 70. Well, your hair looks really good. I like how you're letting the gray come in. Uh -huh. Embrace the silver. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple, not a lot of clothes. Baby doesn't need a lot of clothes. Vegan cork booties. The floofies, the little floofies. So cute, and the brand is called Soft Soul. Where do I put baby shoes? Maybe I'll put them in his going out, his going out drawer. Okay. So I think I'm gonna put muslins and swaddles in here. Also, I don't really know what a muslin is. And I got these little swaddles from Ergo Baby. I have almost everything I need. So if baby came today, we'd be okay. We'd have to run to the store for disposable diapers for a few days because I think those Grovia ones are coming in a few days, hopefully. I wanna like, get organized. So hard. This is like some teething toys that someone got me. Oh, Evan, Evan got me this. Baby nail clippers, a snot sucker. Wait, that doesn't really make sense to go in here. <sighs> Whatever, I'll figure it out later. Yeah, the rest, I'm gonna take you inside. I'm now in our bedroom and I'm just gonna sort of, sort of figure out what our situation is gonna be for diapers. Again, my diapers should be coming, or half of my diapers should be coming in a few days, but I have my other diaper materials. I guess with cloth diapering, there's sort of like, there's some things that you need. Same with regular diapers, I guess, like disposable diapers. I don't have a changing table. I, I just don't, I don't see the need. And also, I don't have the room. This is just like a changing mat that I can like throw on the bed to change them so it's like waterproof and stuff. I have this beautiful amber bottle with this uh, label baby wipe stuff where I'm gonna create a little baby wipe solution. And then I also have my reusable wipes. This is the plan. We're gonna reuse these and put them in the diaper laundry so I don't have to waste anything. So then I can spray the spray on the wipe, wipe the booty and there you go. I also have a couple wet bags, like travel wet bags I can bring with me. I'm not gonna do the diaper bag thing, at least not for now. Oh. I'm gonna do like a backpack probably. <laughs> I just like bring a backpack. Also, I just don't wanna spend the money. I'm a little bit frugal. And finally, this is what I kinda wanna get set up today. This is the diaper pail. And I also do have one diaper. It is Grovia, it is a newborn diaper. I'm going to take it out. <laughs> this is so cute. So I may need to, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to put my baby in this. I don't know why, cloth diapers are so cute to me. Anyway, here's my plan. I would like to keep the whole diaper station situation in the bedroom for 
middle of the night changings. But my idea is to use one of my new baskets. I sort of splurged and got some West Elm beautiful baskets. I was just gonna get one for my new Monstera plant. And then I got three. <laughs> so yeah, I'm frugal, but I'm not I'm not crazy stingy. They're just gorgeous and high quality. But why is this? Are you that high quality? What was that? I'm just gonna put all my diapers in the basket. It sort of looks like a hamper, but it's not. Getting organized. Ah! I do want to open my baby wrap. Evan got this for me from my registry. It's from Solly Baby. gorgeous brown. I guess it's called a camel color. I'm not really sure. Wow. I feel like I'm gonna wear this all the time. It's just so beautiful. I'm really not one to keep boxes, but this box seems very high quality and it looks like something that would help me organize potentially. So I'm gonna hold on to it for a sec. I am just hanging my Solly baby wrap here right by my diaper bag. Kidding, I know it's a backpack. And with my Tula bucket care buckle, what's it called? Buckle carrier. That's something else I got. This is the diaper pail from Grovia. You just slip it in there, hang it like that, and then boink. Diaper situation station. These are the few things I, I have for the kitchen. It's gonna be pretty basic. I have a haka which is um, a type of manual breast pump. I also have a regular Medela double pump coming, but I'm going through my insurance to get a breast pump and so they won't send it until like the baby comes. I also have these newbie bottles because yeah, we'll still be using some bottles. Um, so Eric can feed the baby too. Ugh, I'm so weak right now. And we have a, a brush and finally we have breast milk pump bags for storage for my own baby and I also would love to do what Ellen does. Ellen donates breast milk, which I think is amazing. Woo! The question is, where do I put this stuff? The brand did send this to me, but I reached out to them because I really wanted this Snuggle Me Organic Infant Lounger in this gorgeous gingerbread color. Thank you so much, Snuggle Me Organic. I really, really appreciate you gifting this to me. Very, very grateful, thank you. The very last thing we're gonna do today, because I am beat, I am tired, I am hot, is we are going to open our little rocker. This was a brand I really wanted to work with, so thank you so much, Charlie Keen Rocker, for sending this to me. I just wanna be open. I am receiving this product for free, and I am really, really grateful because it's beautiful. It's like one of those gorgeous rockers that just looks so nice in your home. So I feel really fortunate that Charlie Crane sent me this rocker, thank you so much. And I'm going to attempt to sort of put it together but I'm not gonna lie, this was probably an Eric job. Am I even in focus? There I am. <laughs> oh, oh no. So I'm gonna have Eric put this together. Excuse me, because, because our child will be in it and he's gonna do a better job because he's literally an engineer and he loves stuff like this. He lives for it, right babe? <laughs> but some good twisting. There it is. Isn't it cute? Oh man, that is a cute rocker. I'll rock him. I'll rock my little baby. It just felt so good to get things out of their boxes and organized even a little bit, even though there's a lot of like, eh, I'll do that later. I don't know where this is going yet. Mostly because last night I really thought the baby was coming in a few hours. <laughs> and that was just a, just a practice run for my body to prepare for a beautiful birth. And so did I. <sighs> Pardon me. I felt like I had like a little fire under my butt, fire in my pants to get uh, get some stuff done and get organized even though the house is such a mess. We have diapers on the way, we have clothes, because if he came last night, what would the little boy wear? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to take off all of my clothes and maybe get in the bath with some Epsom salts because that really does help and feel better. And I'm probably gonna order some avocado rolls because I am too dang tired to make dinner. Thank you to everyone out there in your comments and your emails who send me encouragement and just uplifting words and just knowing you guys are out there supporting me um, through this whole pregnancy motherhood journey really touches my heart. And it's been really fun just sharing this part of my life with you. Baby is coming. Baby is coming. <laughs> Having a baby.